wrestling fans, you don't want to miss Warrior Wrestling's return to Grand Rapids on March the 25th. Casey Navarro's Bless the World Tour continues when he defends his truly blessed Warrior World Championship against the returning Jordan Oliver. AAA superstar Ijo Del Vikingo has wowed Warrior fans since his arrival. In Grand Rapids, he defends his Warrior Lucha Championship against the King of Strange Style, Odez. An aerial dogfight is on tap as one of Australia's hottest tag teams, the Velocities, take on top flight and high flying tag team action. The machine, Brian Cage, challenges out of this world show stealer, Zachary Wentz. Can FTC LLC's blue chipper Storm Grayson hang with Lucha veteran Johnny Warrior, or will he resort to more FTC dirty tricks? The luckiest man in wrestling, Jordan Cross, is now 3-0. Will his luck run out as he challenges West Virginia's most dangerous man, Beast Man? Grand Rapids, don't miss meeting all the stars in the VIP Fan Fest. March 25th, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Tickets available right now at warriorwrestling.net. KC Navarro. Good old KC. Kid Cage. You know, if I remember correctly, I brought you into Warrior Wrestling. Matter of fact, I personally hand-selected you to be in the first ever GMSI Invitational. And from there, we teamed together. Hell, we partied together. And I pulled off one of the biggest swerves in all of wrestling to have you become Warrior Wrestling Champion. But I guess the real swerve Wait a was on me, wasn't it? Line up. Oh, the champion with the medallion. Brian Cage out here to teach the youngster a lesson. Oh. Who, is he, is he, who is he here to help? I mean, it seems like he's here to help Navarro, but is he? I, I thought. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Because then all of a sudden you start hanging around the wrong people, start getting a big head, and some wretched ego, and all of a sudden Papa Cage, good Cage, it's no more. That's right, Sean and Diesel 2023, never to come to fruition. Well, I hate to break it to you, kiddo, but you've never, never beaten me in that ring, and you're never going to. And when we're talking warrior wrestling, that's my house. That's right, that's my home. I put that sucker on my back back in 2018 and I've been running it up that hill. First ever Warrior Wrestling Champion. First ever War of Attrition winner. And you're gonna come here? And you're gonna try to act like it's your place? Like you're running the show? I don't think so. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not ever. You see, here's the thing, kid. I hate to break it to you. February 18th, I'm gonna kick your ass and become the first ever two-time Warrior Wrestling World Champion. And you tell your buddy Frank the Clown, yeah, he can get it too. Who better? You see? Where we're at? MCW, now come back to me. It don't matter. It don't matter! Where I go, it don't matter. Who I face, they gonna get blessed. They all next to be blessed. It don't matter who it is at all. 23. I'm blessed with the talents I got, and that's why I am the truly blessed. Warrior, world! Let me say that again. World! And also, I'm, um, and still! The Warrior World Champion. <laughs> Brian, 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 please. Here, come here, sit down. Sit down, let's talk. Welcome to Melbourne. I'm in Melbourne, Australia. Oh yeah, you're still in the States because you can't get over. Anyway, listen, you don't understand. You don't understand why I don't speak to you. You don't understand why I don't need you. Brian, let's just tell the truth for once, huh? Something you couldn't do your entire career. You were going under, bro. Nobody cared about Brian Cage. Brian Cage was just a big guy that wished he could do things that Casey Navarro could do. Hence why he leached on to me. Brian, you can't do it on your own anymore. And you thought making us Kid Cage and Papa Cage that, that would make you relevant again? Because I was rising? Brother, I didn't need you. I didn't need you when I won that medallion in that War of Attrition match that you set up to get my shot medallion. You remember that? The thing that I used to cash in to get this. This you never even held. 
See, this right here is the truly blessed warrior world championship, not the warrior championship. See, at 23 years old, I did more than you did as the warrior champion. I took it out of the country. I took it to Australia, where I'm at right now. I defended it and successfully did so. And I'm coming back to face you, to do the same thing that I did two nights ago. Brian Cage, you ain't nothing to me. You never been anything to me. All you've been is a guy that's been holding me back. And now I'm at the top. I don't need you anymore. And this Saturday Night at Warrior Wrestling, I'm gonna prove it. You don't have to tell me. I know. Now, Casey Navarro never one to, uh, to back down, never one to be shy with his words. Feeling like he's on top of the world. And... No, no. How many suits did Frank bring with him? Good Lord. Again. Boy, Casey Navarro has become unbearable. I mean, unbearable. I, don't, I don't ever want to disrespect our champion because he fought really hard uh, ish <laughs> to maintain his title. Well, think about the, the nonsense that Navarro pulled last time we were here at Warrior Wrestling. Buddy, uh, Matthews, Buddy, yeah, Buddy yeah. Matthews should be the Warrior Wrestling champion. And what a champion he would be. Let's be real, Rich. But it was Casey Navarro a month ago defeating Buddy Matthews. Say, well, hold on now. Wait a minute. Why do? Why would you take? Uh, why? Why do we continue to give Frank the clown the microphone? Why would you take it from Alex Storm? That's his job. He's our ring announcer. I have a great theme song, but that is one hell of a theme song, my champ. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the truly blessed warrior wrestling champion. Uh, actually, Frank, I, I think we forgot something. I'm the only guy to take this title to another country and successfully defend it and then come right back to this shithole for all you. I am the true to say something. But buddy, this is how I feel about your birthday and Brian. Are they making that kid cry on his birthday?
Brian Cage means business. I mean, I am so glad to see this match happen. I'm not gonna lie. I was excited for it, or shall I say stoked, but after that, I cannot wait to see the swolvery and do what he does best. Now uh, we and heard from Brian Cage earlier on. That is just destroyed people. And uh, a little bit earlier, we also heard from Casey Navarro. Navarro trying, loves to get under the, doesn't matter who it is, loves to get under your skin, but coming out here in front of five, 600 fans and making fun of a guy, the size, the strength, the power of Brian Cage. And he, he's and from Cage. And, and making, say it from a guy that can't win on TV. Harsh. Oh boy. Well, last I checked, Brian Cage is on TV. And Brian Cage. Brian Cage has a storied career. First ever Warrior Wrestling Champion. Introducing first, Absolutely. the challenger, hailing from Chico, California. He is the machine. He is the Swolverine. He is Mr. G. Six days as Warrior Wrestling Champion Casey Navarro. Successful defenses, as we mentioned, over Buddy Matthews, over Trey Miguel, over Brian Pullman Jr. And he captured the title in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Cashing in that number one contender's medallion. And uh, boy, yeah, there's that belt that we talked about. The, that he fashioned. That he fa yes, he fashioned. You think it was his money or Frank's money that uh, got put up for that? I don't want to think about it. I just, I try not to think about Frank. Well, nonetheless, Brian Cage, I, I, if I were Brian Cage, the very first ever Mr. Warrior Wrestling yeah. Champion, 531 days at, as champion, wouldn't you feel a little disrespected if the belt that you carried that that is that has represented this company all around the world. Frank the Clown and Casey Navarro in his in his utter arrogance. They they basically stomped all over the lineage, the history of the Warrior Wrestling oh, title. And that, absolutely. Now, now fashion wise, you're okay, well, the pink belt, whatever. It's right, but I think it's glorious. Well, and also, you know, happy Valentine's Day to those that celebrate. Well, yeah, a couple days, a couple days. Did as you, a Capone, did, did you do as anything? A Capone, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, as a Capone, I look at it as a Chicago history day. Well, that's true, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, yeah. very different stance on Valentine's Day than probably most, but, you, you know. Get, you get any treats or trinkets? Uh, you know, I love uh, February 15th. Not only is it one of my very best friend's birthdays. Uh, happy belated birthday, Lauren, by the way, love you. 
Uh, but the also, 15th, huh? Yeah, February 15th. Is that you, too? Yeah. Huh. I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, shush you. Only magnificent humans are born on that day. Love you, Lauren. Um, HHC, HH, HCC for life. But also 50% um, off of chocolate on that day, so I love Valentine's Day. Massacre your livers. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. 1929 is very special to me, but... Oh, look at that. Oh, Navarro no, bit of a tumble. And stumble, then thought he might have wrenched his knee a little bit. Well, I mean, that happens when you bounce off a pop of cage like that. Look at the dance there. Oh! Again, it was uh, just a month ago in South Bend, Indiana, where Casey Navarro gets booted right to the floor and Brian Cage on a rampage. A six, uh, uh, successful defense against Buddy Matthews. Now, we talked about this before a little bit, Val. Brian Cage and Casey Navarro, a lot of history between the two of them. Ooh! Teamed up against the acclaimed back at Warrior Wrestling 19. Yes. And a little bit of a, a miscommunication led to the acclaimed getting the win. And now, look at this here. Frank Clown is Beautiful. starting to lose his mind. And the gift that keeps on giving. Sure is. Oh, Frank's going nuts. And Casey Navarro. I care not about Frank. I care about wrestling, and Frank is not wrestling to me. Papa Cage slamming into those traps of Casey Navarro as he heads to the floor where he belongs. Sorry, champ. I'm just very upset with you right now. Over by the, uh, the ringside timekeeper's table. And the action in this title match going all around Talia Hall here. And Chicago, Navarro, shoulder first into the ring post. But a lot of history between these two, Val. Uh, in, in many ways, Brian Cage felt like he was a mentor to Casey Navarro. Navarro oh, you, used to look up to Brian felt Cage. Like, yes, this was absolutely a family. I mean, they were a packaged unit, if you will. Like, they worked together, they, they essentially lived together, they traveled all over, and instead, now, bam, oh. you see the traveling feet of Casey Navarro slamming into the face of Brian Cage. It was Frank the Clown, oh man. Frank the Clown who grabbed Cage's leg, which gave that little opening for Casey Navarro, and now Navarro going to the top. They're gonna zero in on the Swole Marine, big oh, splash. No. Looking to put it away. I mean, I didn't come up with the term Papa Cage. That was what Casey Navarro called Brian Cage for so very long. 16th match here in Warrior Wrestling for Navarro. Casey Navarro looked to Brian Cage like a father. Now he looks to him like a punching bag. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous the way that he absolutely dissed the man that took him under his wing, that taught him all that he knew for all oh. these years. Wow, what a shot. All the years that Brian Cage has traveled the world of professional wrestling, he shared that knowledge with Casey Navarro. Would Casey Navarro be where he is today without the tutelage of Brian Cage Rich? Nice counter by Navarro with the knee strikes to the head. And the slap just kind of broke the Swolverine up a little bit. Oh! Super kick flattens the champion. Man, oh man. Frank the Clown on the outside in shock. And just to close out your thought there, Val. I don't think that Casey Navarro would be where he is as Warrior Wrestling Champ without everything he picked up from Brian King. I mean, they spent so much time working together as a tag team, as a duo, whether they were in singles matches or as a pair. I mean, it's just it's just so hard to watch the way that Casey Navarro went from a shining sun to just this. It's embarrassing, honestly. Incorrigible. Absolutely. That is the perfect word, honestly. That is a perfect descriptor to describe the way that he behaves now. It, yeah, there are, he's been infected by Frank the Clown. It's, it's absolutely a virus, you know? Incredible force as Cage whips Navarro. Chest first into the buckle. Frank with some instructions for his, for his charge. Imagine Frank the Clown getting tossed around by Brian Cage. I would love to see that. Well, it was your birthday. Perhaps we could work something out. No, that'd be worth the price of admission alone. Oh, man. Navarro like with a cheap shot poked Cage's eye. And again, the cheap shot. That's what he learns from Frank. 
Referee didn't see it. That is what he learns from the clown. That is what he gained from FTC. Uh -oh. When he was working with the Spolverine, he learned, oh no. Oh! Over the top rope, Tiger Fiend. He learned maneuvers like that. You know what I mean? This is what you learn from the, the machine, not the cheap shots. Wow, brilliant. Looking for the DDT. What a counter by Cage. Ooh. Yes. Oh! Into a stunner. Navarro gets something out of nothing. Going for it. Springboard caught Can and he? nails the DDT. Wow. And honestly, with the size differential. Governor put it away. And Cage out of it or two. With the size differential, those are the kind of moves that Casey is gonna have to continuously use against Brian Cage because Brian Cage has so much power. He's essentially a mountain that Casey is continuously gonna have to climb and chip away at. He's gonna have to sculpt Brian Cage into what he needs, what, what, I'm sorry, what he's gonna have to tear down. He's gonna have to basically take dynamite to Brian Cage because how do you tear down the machine? It's Navarro, next to impossible. Go, Navarro going up top. And Cage has been down for an awfully long time. But Cage has like some of the highest wins here at, at Warrior Wrestling. Navarro off the top, Cage was playing possum. Look and, at this. Oh, what a raw display of power, oh! And you know I love me some possums, but geez, what are you gonna do against Cage like this? Oh, just set up power bomb. Cage for the title, no! Kick out at two and a half. Casey Navarro, if he retains here tonight, will be one successful title defense away from tying the Warrior Wrestling Championship defense record set by none other than Brian, Brian Cage. Cage. That's five successful title defenses. <sighs> but with all the trash that Casey talked earlier on, you know that Cage heard it and you know that... Here's my thing, Rich. You know, that pinched him a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Is that gonna get under the skin of Cage? He is usually so focused, nothing seems to affect him, but when he looked at Casey like a son, will that shake the cage? Looking for the discus lariat. Navarro will get her the crucifix, and instead Cage has him up. Yep, up on, on the, the shoulders. shoulders. Oh, wait oh. a minute. A couple of punches to the to the abdomen, but will that stop the oh. machine? Can that shut the machine down? I don't think so. Look out. Cage. Ooh. Explosive. At the pump handle. Didn't oh. land it cleanly, Beautiful. and Navarro rolled up. Nope. To get free. Again with the spinning. Ducks the clothesline, takes out the leg, oh. kick to the midsection. Navarro spinning super kick. Oh no. And Navarro again now winding up. Can this. Cage caught him. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh no. Not looking good for Casey Rich. Looking for the weapon. X. Oh. <laughs> That's just, uh, the weapon X is so gorgeous. Brian Cage with the championship in his sights. Looking to become a two-time Warrior Wrestling Champion. Has well, to put away Navarro in. The fans here coming up for Brian Cage! Drill Claw and Navarro. Oh, come on now. Frank the Clown rolled Navarro out of the ring. The referee should kick Frank out. Uh, Get him out of here. Immediately. Immediately. But. In fairness, this is going to give Casey plenty of time to recuperate as Brian Cage is chasing Frank the Clown around the ring. Oh my goodness. Oh well, my goodness. Well, Cage trying to trying to eyeball where Frank the Clown went. Now the question is where did where did Casey Navarro go? Casey Navarro still, is still slumped on the ground. Is it, wait, wait a minute. minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, who's this? What is this? Oh, in comes Storm Grayson. That's Grayson and Trevor Outlaw. Wait, Trevor? Oh no. Trevor Outlaw. Storm Grayson, FTC, LLC. Throwing him into the children. Yes. Referee's called for the bell. No. The referee was count, it's a count out. Cage has been counted out and uh, he cannot believe it. Look at the dismay on his face, Rich. Oh my stars, I cannot believe it either.
Listen to the booze raining down as Brian Cage on the chase after Frank the Clown. Get that clown! Watch Get the him. pain raining down. Tear him limb from limb. Oh, my stars. Think about it, Val. Oh. Brian Cage hit the Weapon X. He hit the Tornado Claw. Multiple the times flared. on the Tornado Claw. And then the Drill Claw, and that would have been it. For anyone. Were it not for Frank the Clown, who literally dragged Casey Navarro out of the ring, and the fans here are not pleased. I mean, I'm not pleased. Would you be pleased? <laughs> wow. No, no. <laughs> that ain't bullshit. <gasps> That's some blessed shit. Oh, oh my stars. <laughs> That's why I am still your truly blessed warrior. Warrior. Well, fans, we are headed towards our main event. Wow. The Lucha Championship is on the line. Black Tortoise, Enemies, and Arrow Boy challenging El Hijo, Del Vikingo. Our main event on the way after this. Cage got his retribution. Can, can anybody stop the machine? My goodness, we had gone to break as they were brawling in the back, and next thing we know, Casey Navarro dumped from that luxury box right through a table. Brian Cage with a message for FTC LLC. Wow, and what a message it was, Rich. I mean. We, we should probably get some medics to the to the to the production table. Oh, here come our referees. Here come of our uh, all of our officials out of the locker room. Watch out, children. Watch out, kids. I think Brian Cage has made it pretty clear. He is he has called this shot. He has sent the message. You don't mess around with the effing machine. And if Brian Cage has his way. That Warrior Championship will be his once again. I, I think it's very clear. He just took both titles off the stage, Rich. My Holy goodness. Holy shnikes. The, the, the officials oh. and uh, staff are going to try and scrape Casey Navarro up through that table. And, uh, well, I mean, you, re you reap what you sow. I'm, I'm just utterly stunned. <laughs> Well, fans, we are uh, we are going to take a breath. They are going to they are going to peel Casey Navarro up off the floor. We will reset. 
And we do have our main event on the way in just a moment. The Lucha Championship is, in the, is on the line. Elijo Del Vikingo set to defend in a four-way right, well, battle. Back in a moment. Are tending to our world champ to the US of A, baby. And Paris, it's been such a long time. I think the last time we were there was 2019, and, and we were doing the biggest tag tournament in all of pro wrestling. We were doing the king of trios, man. And ever since then, we've become a dynasty in Australian tag team wrestling. And finally, finally, we make our return to the USA in our debut at Warrior Wrestle. Dante and Darius, we know about you boys. Top flight's been making some noise. Cool. So boy. And as big as the sky is, there's only room for one team. And you're looking at it. Because nobody outruns the velocities.